Hi, everybody. My name is Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah channel. And we thank you very much for hanging out with us. We thank you for being a part of our little tiny family out in the middle of a jungle, out in the middle of South America. And we are happily here with all of you all. So, gentlemen, how you guys doing? Good. Good. Everyone alive? Everybody looks fairly dead at this table. Kate looks like really dead. What time did you make it to bed? 11. That's it? Oh, all right. You look really worse for that. Jade, you doing all right? Yeah. Eli? Yep. You live? Mm -hmm. Ready to do some reading? Mm -hmm. All right. Somebody recap what we did yesterday. What what happened yesterday in the book of Joshua? Uh, I say we were going over uh, land division. They're dividing up land still. They're still going over what they've conquered, and they're dividing up land among their tribes. Yes, and so I will let everybody know, this is the Yah Scriptures right here. This is the $64, 103 book version. It is um, very, it's ready uh, in February and March of 2024. Pre-orders are available now. There's 1,000 coming in. If you do not get your first 1,000 out of this first 1,000, you may never get them um, as far as a hard print goes. And we, we don't know if we're going to do more than 1,000, but for sure we're doing the 1,000. It's on its way. And um, if we don't do more than a thousand, well, then we always have the PDFs, and you guys can download the PDFs absolutely free of charge. Both the Apocrypha and the sixty-six book version are absolutely free in the descriptions below. You guys can download them and put them on any device that you guys would like, and away we go. Now, Eli is going to be reading for us today because we are going to be looking around uh, the maps again and um, see what we can find. Let's go, Eli. And all the congregation of the children of Israel assembled at Shiloh, and they let the tent of appointment dwell there, and the land was subdued before them. And seven tribes were left among the children of Israel who had not yet shared their inheritance. So Yehoshua said to the children of Israel, To when are you going to fail to go in and possess the land which Yahuwah Elohim, your father, has given you? Appoint three men from each tribe, and let me send them in to go through and then out to go through the land and describe it according to their inheritance and come back to me. And they shall divide it into seven portions. Yehuda stays within their border on the south, and the house of Yosef stays within their border on the north. And you shall describe the land into seven portions, and shall bring it to me. Then I shall cast lots for you here before Yahuwah our Elohim. Uh, but the Luites have no portion among you, for the Kahuna of Yahuwah is their inheritance. And Gad and Reuben and half the tribe Manasseh have received their inheritance to be on the Ardeen on the east, which Moshe the servant of Yahuwah gave him. So the men went up. So the men rose up and went. And Yehoshua commanded those who went to describe the land, saying, "Go, walk through the land and describe it, and come back to me, and let me cast lots to you before before Yahuwah and Shiloh." So the men went and passed through the land and described it in a book in seven portions by seas. And they came to Yehoshua at the camp of Shiloh. And Yehoshua cast lots to them in Shiloh before Yahuwah. And there Yehoshua divided the land to the children of Israel according to their portions. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up for their clans, and the border of their lot came out between the children of Yehuda and the children of Yosef. And their border was on the north side from Yardim, and the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north, and went up through the mountains westward, and ended at the wilderness of Beth Awan. Okay, so if you guys notice, there is no there is no land that says Joseph, right? You guys realize that, right? Yeah, so right. when it's referring to Joseph, it's referring to Ephraim. And Manasseh. Manasseh, yeah. And so this is what it's talking about there. So, all right, go ahead, Eli. And the boar went over from there toward Luz, to the side of Luz, that is Bethel, southward. And the border went down to Adarathadar, by the hill down by a hill that lies on the south side of lower Beth Koron. And the border was drawn and went south, and, the, er, and went around the west side to the south, from the hill that faces Beth Koron, south, and it ended at Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Yarim, a city of the children of Yehuda. This was the west side. And the south, and the south side was from the end of Kiriath Yarim, and the poor went out westward, and went to the fountain of the waters of ne Neftoak. And the border came down... Uh, and the border came down to the end of the mountain that uh, faces the valley of Ben Hamon, and which is in the valley of the Rephaim on the north, and went down to the valley of Hinnom to the side of the Yebusite city on the south, and went down to Ain Rogel. 
and it was drawn from the north, went out to Ain Shemesh, and went out toward Gelaloth, which is opposite the ascent of Adumim, and went down to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben, and passed over the side of opposite Rabbah northward, and went down to Rabbah. And the border passed over the side of Beth Kaga northward, and the border ended at the North Bay at the Salt Sea at the south end of the Yardin. Wait, which is the Salt Sea? Anyone? It's the Mediterranean. Mediterranean is the Salt Sea? That's the great, it's the Salt Sea? The Salt Sea is the bottom one. The bottom one? Hold on. All right, so the Salt Sea is, uh, we have the Great Sea there. Right there. This is salt this, oh, this is a salt sea. Oh, there it is. It's the salt the or dead, dead sea. sea. Salt or dead sea. Okay, so sorry about that. Continue on, Eli. This was the southern boundary. And the Ardeen borders it on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, according to its boundaries all around, for their clans. And the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, for their clans, were Yeriko, and Beth Kogla, and Amekiketsits, and Beth Araba, and Seminarim, and Beth El. And Awim and Para and Ofra and Kefar Hamoni and Ofni and Gala, twelve cities with their villages. Gibbon and Rama and Birath and, and Mitzpe and Kefira and Mata and Rechem and Yerpil and uh, Tarla and Sela, Elef and the Yebusite, that is your slave. Gibbath and Kiriath, fourteen cities, their villages. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin for their clans. Okay, so they ended up. Benjamin has um, Jericho and Jerusalem in there, and it is oh, yeah, what it I appears. Thought, uh, Judah had Jerusalem. Yeah, well, it, they have Bethlehem, and they got Kebron, and um, but in, Benjamin actually had Jerusalem, which is very interesting. And Jerusalem is the city of David, right? City of David, right? That is what they call it. Um, very, very interesting. Okay, so anyway, we don't. This map, I think, is kind of funky here because this is not what everybody has for the rest of it. Um, I think this one's better, but it's really, really hard to see this. And as you guys can see, like most of the maps, like Manasha, it looks like this. It doesn't on the other maps. Man, the other side of Manasha is like right over here, and so that map is obviously wrong. And so this is what we were all talking about today: is the um, le the Benjamin's land right here. And um, so this is where it was. And so what we don't see is we don't see all the towns that Eli just was talking about because there must be a tremendous amount more in here. And um, I, I don't have the map with all of the rest of the old school ancient towns. And like Brother Glenn says, a lot of these places are really hard to find because this is, they've all changed. This is not what it was, it is today, but what it was back then. All right, um, so that does it. Um, that's the tribe of Benjamin. So the day before we got... Um, Manasseh. So we got we we learned what Manasseh was, right? We did, we did Judah. Judah was the first. Was Judah the first? Mm -hmm. Judah's the first, and then we did Manasseh. Um, have we defined the rest of these yet? Is there anybody else? Because I don't think we've talked about Asher and Naphtali. We've talked about Manasseh and Ephraim, Benjamin and Jehuda. Yeah, so no, we have Shimon either. So uh, did we do a little Reuben? I heard a little Reuben. Reuben's are pretty much done because they got the other side. Yeah, Reuben, and Gad, and that half tribe of uh, Manasseh. Right, and so even though it's a half tribe, I see this. It's really weird. The half tribe of Manasseh ends up with massive amounts of of land. They end up with the second most. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, the second most. And I think they might actually probably have more than uh, Judah if you look at this. It's just a huge map. So, anyway, um, that's that. So, well, thank you guys very, very much for hanging out with us, for um, reading with us. We are simply just reading with you guys. We are the people that believe the laws, statutes, and commandments that are found in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy are the test of all time, that it is the greatest things that we can ever have, the, the, the most precious things that a creator of the universe could ever give to his people is his ways, his, his, his statutes, his ways, just everything. Right? We have been blessed, we've been baruch with getting a guideline for life, and most people simply don't care about it or don't even want it. So we are here uh, trying to get people to seek these ways, seek the kingdom ways, and seek the, the road of our creator and his son, Messiah Yahushua. So with that, guys, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. We are out. All right, shalom. shalom.